Hey everybody, welcome into the Arena Productions, and this is our spoiler-filled recap and review roundtable discussion of The Boys Season 4. I'm your host, Xpad, along with my co-hosts, Burley of Burlaman Gaming and FUBU87, uh, who have been watching, of course, The Boys Season 4, as well as myself, and putting up the recap and reviews. So now this is our roundtable discussion, so... Uh, of course, there are going to be spoilers throughout this uh, video. So, and uh, and of course, if you are listening in audio as well, uh, thank you for uh, for listening. But uh, yeah, this will be spoiler filled, so that is your warning. So we're gonna because we're gonna be talking a lot about season four and uh, the things that happened in it. So if you have not uh, watched uh, all of uh, season four of the boys, please go to Amazon. And check it out and then come back and uh and uh watch this video so that is your spoiler warning so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and throw up the slideshow of all the episodes from episode one through episode eight so you can enjoy that for those of you that are watching here in uh, on the arena productions in video format so uh yeah so let's go ahead and get started with it so uh yeah another great season guys and uh my first question to you all is which character's arc stood out to you the most in season four i think for me it was probably uh i would say the duo of frenchy and kimiko uh which culminated at the end with the kiss i thought that was really cool uh frenchy of course you know the <laughs> usually high uh but then again uh you know coming to grips with his past and uh and uh just putting it on the line with kimiko i thought that was really cool uh, uh another character uh i think uh you know uh, billy uh of course with his father's passing and all and and how that all went down uh i thought uh, his character arc was really cool as well during the season so uh what do you, what, who, who's, which character do you think uh, had the best arc in season four? Uh, Burley, I'll start with you. Uh, for me, <clears throat> I got to go A Train. I really liked A Train this season. Mm -hmm. It was a character at the beginning of the first season, is A Train is like someone, you're just like, oh, I hope this guy dies in a, just, I hope he really gets what's coming to him. But as you've gone over through seasons one through three, and then the beginning mm -hmm. of this season, he tries, you know, he, get, he he meets with his his nephews. He's trying to connect. He's trying to be human with them. And like, you know what? He's he's over embellishing and, you know, trying to make himself look a lot better than he is. And, you know, trying to be the hero that his nephews would want. And then his brother rolls in. He And he tries to, you, you see, he really wants to reconnect with his family, get things uh, better, communication, all that with them. And like, MM uses that to his advantage to get him to A Train to flip. And A Train helps save everyone throughout the season. Yeah. He saves Hugh. He saves yeah. Mother's Men. Like, it's such a good uh, good character development. And it was like, just so good. All the stuff that has that, that happened with this in so many great moments, like him getting the yeah. V for Huey and giving it, and, and Huey told him. For his dad and that he forgives him and like you can see the thing of the, the facial reaction right. emotional reactions a train has with it and that just that i think was the second to last episode forgive me if i'm wrong on this where a train goes to mm is mm's gonna leave with his family he's like and he he convinced mm to stay in the fight on this and it's like it, just so great i cannot wait to see what we get with him in season five i know he's I think he's dying, but uh -huh. I would love for him. Like, hey, he kills the deep, but Homelander kills him quick. You know what? You you you've at least redeemed a train. I could say. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, for those of you watching on video, the, the the from season from from episode one, that one scene where Kimiko's uh, falling through the window there, mm. that like the Matrix scene there. That was pretty yeah. cool. And then, of course, her hand is growing. Her arm is growing back there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, uh, Fubu, uh, who had the best character arc, uh, in your opinion, in uh, season well, four? 
not Frenchy, telling you now. I don't like <laughs> Frenchy this season. Uh, my first choice would be A Train as well, but I think that's obvious. But I do have a second pick. I, I'm also prepared. I think that Senator Newman had a great arc because she starts like the idea is to gain power, whatever, with politics, and they're going to end up killing. That's the idea was killing the president and she would become the president. That's the way I was seeing the story going. And mm -hmm. when she sees things going um, the wrong way, yeah. uh, she was woman enough to be like, no, my my daughter is the main one. She, she could probably try and fight Homelander and because her she has a great power. Her power is very powerful. And mm -hmm. she, instead of fighting, she tries to join the boys at right at the last episode uh, to run away with her daughter so all of them can be safe. And if you remember on last season, she gave compound V to her daughter. She wasn't carrying it. Like she was to protect herself, but in my opinion, giving her that power more, was more dangerous than her not having the power. Mm -hmm. So she became a person that was, uh, she changed the way she fought. And she started thinking that, yeah, with this virus going around, uh, with Homelander going crazy, I think the best way is I'm going to stand back. I'm not going to fight this one. I'm going to stand back. I'm going to run away with my daughter because in the end, it's not power. The most important part It's my family. It's my daughter. Uh, but well, you know how it ends. She, it didn't went very well for uh, Senator Newman at the end. Which new character did you like the most in this season? Uh, you know, I, I, I think Valerie Curry is is firecracker. I mean, I just loved to hate her in this season. I mean, just the, you know, just the way she projected herself and and having that like the the TV news show. It kind of reminds me of another, you know, news show that's out there on the you know uh, on the the cable news networks, but. Uh, yeah, Foxes. I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name the particular, you know, uh, you know, cable <laughs> network, but I think you know which one I'm referring to. But uh, uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, her acting in in this season. I mean, and and the the back and forth between her and uh, you know Starlight, I, I thought that was really cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, Valerie Curry, she did an amazing job in this season. You know as a newcomer uh well, what are your guys' thoughts on the new characters yeah. jeffrey d morgan also jeffrey d morgan yeah like i thought he it's was great a shame. as well mm -hmm. it's a shame but i was really hoping that he was a real person and not in um butcher's imagination because yeah. uh jeffrey d. jeffrey d morgan is uh, an accomplished actor the way he brings that it's like it felt like negan but it wasn't negan yeah, so yeah, it yeah, felt yeah. something like his persona was really good, but I really liked him. He was my favorite, but I think the second um, the second favorite for me was Sister Sage. I don't Sage, know the way yeah. she, the way she was her presence in the in each episode was really uh -huh. good. And that plot twist that she has to do the lobotomy, so she has to dumb it down. Uh -huh. So and that was a nice plot twist. But I, I like I like a, per, a character that is all-knowing and she was all-knowing everything went according to plan even the parts that went to shit went according to her plan or so she says right but yeah. i really liked that, that character between her like if jeffrey dean morgan had more time mm -hmm. it would be jeffrey dean morgan but but because he had it didn't have enough time it's a, a toss between these two yeah burley yeah i like jeffrey dean morgan i actually kind of like the twist that he was an old uh, person of a uh, friend of Butcher's, but he was dead the whole time. Yeah. I, I, I like that. And in his head, that was such a great thing. Sister Sage, I liked. And then they just, when they, like a little over halfway the season, Homelander's like, go away now, shoot. And yeah. she goes away. And then just her coming back at the end, it was okay. But I, it kind of just felt incomplete with yeah. it. Whereas I felt Firecracker was the more complete picture because I love it because she is, you know, impersonating that stuff and all that yeah. the stuff, imitating the whole real life stuff and all that. And then she learns like because she's low on the totem pole. And then when she realizes she's not gaining feather either with Homelander, she's like, OK, she finds out the milk weakness does harms herself. 
get good in with Homelander to yeah. keep herself around. Yeah. Like she she played the game. Like if this was Game of Thrones, she was playing the game quite well there. Yeah. And like I love the whole thing. Like when Butcher and them are gonna expose her, mm-hmm. you think she's gonna go, oh no, please don't do this, please don't do this. She hits the post, and then she just she already knows how to spin it in her way and all that. I I love that because it's just showing you. Hey, even though she may not be the strongest of one of these soups, she is not going to back down from a fight, and she's not going to be intimidated and just cornered. She's, she can think ahead and That's, fight, does she fight her really way have out. powers though? Does she really have powers? I mean, well, she snaps her finger, yeah. and it, it like it it it, it kind of lights up a little bit. But I mean, other than that, you, you really don't see any powers from her. I uh, it, it it's more like she can do a light smoke screen. No, no. It, it's it's good but it, like like it's useful but like the uh, thing is if if starlight when they fought starlight had her full powers and you know fully could zap her with oh, light yeah, yeah, yeah. starlight would have killed her in five oh, yeah. seconds oh yeah her yeah. superpower is social media she exactly. works social media like exactly. a pro that's her superpower exactly exactly hey firecracker you want to take over our social medias no 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 all right, so uh, let's let's talk about the dynamic between Butcher and the son. I mean, you know, Homelander's Brian. son, I, I, Brian. Yeah, yeah Brian. Yeah, I, I I thought that was uh, really an interesting aspect of the season and and how that's going. I mean, one minute you think that he's going to go along with Butcher, but then again, he stays at Vought, you know. And uh, I mean, that dynamic and how that's going to play out in the final season, we shall see. But uh, what were your thoughts on that and the that that scene i mean you know when they're doing the christmas special i mean that, i oh. i thought that was a really good scene where you know brian is just like this isn't right you know yeah. <laughs> what what you guys are trying to do here uh i thought that was a great scene so but what how do you guys feel about the dynamic uh between butcher and brian and uh, moving forward into season five uh you know how is that going to play out uh, uh, I yeah. needed. I, I honestly needed a little bit more uh, from them. I mm-hmm. think, uh, like, I enjoyed the part when they're doing the the game, like he joins the, the fight on the on that Mortal Kombat type of, type of game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really liked that part. It was interesting. He's trying to get to the kids using what kids like, which is basically video games. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like that, but. I needed more. I I don't know what happened. I know they changed the actor with the kids with Brian. They they changed the the car, the, um, the actor, but I don't know if because you noticed especially at the beginning of the season you noticed that his voice is changing. He's going through puberty. Like the real person is going through mm-hmm. puberty, and his voice is really really weird. And I don't know if the producers were like, okay, his voice is cracking too much. It's weird. Let's not give uh, too much uh, speaking lines to him because the core what should be the mm-hmm. core in this season in my opinion would be butcher trying to save ryan from the hands of the homelander and the elections should be in the back that's the way i'm thinking and then season five it would be about all about the, the results of the election uh, and i think there was something behind the scenes that said, let's take some more lines from from Ryan uh, because his voice is not normal, uh, which is something natural. It's natural, and I thought that you should, for me, for a good dynamic between them, I think there should have been more scenes with them trying to uh, trying to connect, and uh, of course Homelander reacting to this connection like he does on the on the last episode where he destroys uh, basically the the room. So I didn't like that. Um, it needed some more work from everyone. To me, for me personally, to care more about the the relationship. Early, I, I, I'm a little. I'm going to disagree with you on this. Wubu. I actually like the dynamic between them, with how they did it. Like I loved the game thing was so so cool, and and, and the and beginning of the first with the first episode, Ryan Ryan meets Ryan and Butcher meet. And then Homelander comes in, and you think Homelander, oh, he's gonna try and kill him. And Homelander's being like, "You're a dead man. I can sense the tumors. You're just, 
you're just gonna die and you can just see it on ryan's face he just feels so sad for butcher and then you see those moments of like with, throughout the season ryan and butcher are meeting a few times and you know you see butcher wants it, it just like uh, originally with the cookies with the drugs to get to get ryan he doesn't want he, he ends up doesn't put uh going through with it because he wants to get ryan the right way because with uh with his uh with his wife's uh ghost and image in his head the angel on his shoulder being like no you have to do this the right way you need to save ryan you need to save ryan i love that dynamic and i love with the finale you've got butcher is trying to just you know be like hey i'm on my deathbed try with ryan he's manipulating him a little but not fully going the manipulation they they not wanted a little, to not a little i don't think it was a little that's a lot but i'm dying go with mm. my final wish please that's a lot yeah, no, but at first, like when he's at first at the hospital meeting him, he's not trying too much. Like they're playing Connect yeah. Four and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only when Mowry, Grace Mowry starts talking, that's when Butcher kind of pushes it. And, and I I love this. I love those moments because, like, you've got that Ryan. He's a teenager. He's trying to figure out his dad's forcing him stuff. Butcher's trying to be the angel on his shoulder. He's like, he wants to be in his own and not do things. But everyone's pushing everything onto him so it's just such great i love that he did the like earlier for the the uh the whole puppet show the see something say something homelander calls leaves a voice out says just do it for me just do it the way I, like do it there you got you like you see homelander at first the beginning of the season it's telling him like no right if you don't want to do it you don't do it i respect you and and, and Butcher's, uh, Ryan's all happy, but as things go, but, and with all the stress Homelander's under, he's just like, do it. And Ryan's like, I, I don't exactly agree with you, Father. I'm not going to do it. I'm my own man. I'm going to do stuff my way. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I, I do understand your points of view. Um, maybe it's, like yeah. I said, maybe it's something personal. But uh, yeah, that progression, like you said, like at the beginning, Homelander is trying to be that that father. Uh, I want him to like me. I want him to like me. But yeah, when stuff gets too serious and stress accumulates, which is a dynamic of real life, it's a dynamic, mm -hmm. dynamic in real life. So sometimes parents are very, very patient with their children, but sometimes mm -hmm. they get home from work, they're stressed and they don't they don't care about the kid they just want to do something to their mind so yeah i do understand that's a very good dynamic but maybe it's something that didn't appeal to me that's why i think the way that i think okay guys let's talk about and i and there were there were a lot of great character arcs in this in this season now but when it comes to and and i know there's a lot of them but your favorite scene of the season what what was your favorite moment your favorite scene uh from the episodes i mean whether it was uh, the funniest or the most shocking i mean uh, what 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 scene stood out to you the most in the season i i think for me it would it would probably be i mean the homelander when he went back to his roots <laughs> and he had the he had the guy like jacking off and everything, and then he just blew oh. him apart. I mean, that's, oh, that, that was, that's my favorite episodes. That was one of my favorite scenes. And then another one was when Homelander was interrogating uh, one of uh, you know Starlight's supporters, and she was sitting there, and and they're like, "Yeah, it's okay." You know, Jackie's like, you know, sitting there with you know with uh, with Homelander and 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 Sage and. And they're like, it's okay, it's okay. You can tell us the truth. And, and Homelander's like, uh, I promise on my on my son's life or whatever, you know, I I won't you know do anything. And then as soon as she says, well, yeah, I I, I did meet with her, you know, just, just, just vaporizes her brain, yeah, yeah. you know. And then Sage is like, couldn't you have waited at least a moment longer for her to actually say something so we could have gotten some information out of her? And Homelander's like, I don't care. You know, mm -hmm. so I mean, those are some of my favorite scenes. Uh, how about for for the both of you? What were your, what what was your favorite scene of the season? My Girl, favorite well, scene, yeah. scene go, go. is actually a little more subtle one. It's when Newman reaches back out to Huey. 
and when she mm. she knows and she says like i, I want to call truce and all this yeah like homelander's threatening my daughter he's gonna take her take her away and send a piece every day to her to me yeah. this and that and you get the human moment and the connection and he, he, he was like why would i believe you why would i help you after everything yeah. and she's like if you don't my daughter my daughter's dead so she's oh. like this is the best chance i have and you you can see like and i i like it as soon as he finishes that call he goes to you know the team and's like we should do this because you know what we're human and you know we we should have some compassion and all that and play that side since they're not doing that Mm -hmm. the the seven are not doing that we need to do this we need to show that we're better than that i love that you got everyone's inter interactions and saying their thoughts and their peace on the whole situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, most funny thing i think in the all seasons is this man is in no condition to fuck a sheep that was I'm still cracking up until this uh, day with, with that yeah. scene with yeah. Frenchie. Yeah. Uh, fun, fun story about that line. It's actually improvised. It wasn't on the script. Basically, Giancarlo Esposito was taking too long to say the mm. line. And yeah. he just says that as a joke, like to make everyone laugh. Nice, and everyone nice, thought it was really, yeah. really nice. So it was a behind the scene. Um, when it comes to shocking, uh, there's so many shocking things that happened the the full season right, but i right. think that uh, episode when homelander goes back to his origins everything that he did uh what he went through like yeah. as a child that's shocking like you yeah. don't exactly see mm -hmm. it but uh, just imagining it's really really shocking uh <laughs> the way he tortured them uh, with the games and furnace and laser for the dick and whatever that's that was uh, one of the highlights for me because one of the good things I like in this series it's the shock value so yeah. I also <laughs> like that and adjusting because I don't want to say Homelander was right but I understand I do understand yeah. his points and then, uh, well, you, you, and then and then uh was it uh you know uh, Huey's Huey's father you know like uh they inject him with the compound v you know yeah, <laughs> he's like that was he's like sad. just like appearing and disappearing and like you know coming up and like just yeah killing killing the other patients in the hospital it's like, oh. oh yeah but the, for the homelander one i love i love that episode and it actually makes you root for homelander because you, you heard from yeah. all the stuff from all the seasons and like homelander even tells becca and ryan when she's starting to raise ryan and all that in like season two it's not good for him to be raised like this way i was raised kind of like this way and I can tell you it doesn't go well and it's like yeah. you, you wondered how his raising went and it was just so great to see it and you see him and let's be fair all these people they were all they were good people they're all piece of shit they made homelander the way he is you yeah, know what to exactly. see him just he let them live for how many years and didn't do anything he's just like no nope, today's the day i'm getting i'm getting some payback yeah true yeah. true yeah. And uh, and of course uh, Simon Pegg performance on the episode that he dies, mm -hmm. which is basically the only one that he acts. Uh, it was really really sad, and uh, it was a new main kill from Yugi. Uh, so it was uh, it was a good performance from him, and that I felt really sad on that one. Yeah, yeah. These are the highlights for the the whole season. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's so many, but for me, these three points were the the best ones. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh was there anything about the season the two of you were disappointed with uh oh yeah i mean uh <laughs> so i i was a bit disappointed that they they got rid of newman at, at the end of the season i i thought she would have if she would have survived into the the final season that would have been can i can I interrupt you on that go ahead sorry uh, she's going to be in season two of Gen V. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that she is because season two of Gen V is after season four. Mm, interesting. So I don't know, but I, I don't know. Could be like a flashback. I don't know. Could be something like that. I didn't explain, uh -huh. but she, she is very powerful. I can see her recovering because she has a healing factor. You've seen because when they throw on the first episode they throw acid at her she didn't even flinch so mm -hmm. she has a healing factor so you don't know because you've seen 
what happened to Kimiko where um, where Frenchie cuts the leg mm -hmm. she recovers mm -hmm. the leg Begin beginning of the episode she loses the arm she recovers the arm right so it wouldn't be far-fetched that from this very slow recovery because it's a very serious injury that she could recover especially because if it's in two years maybe she took like a year and something to recover we don't yeah. know yeah, yeah. We've seen the images of the the shapeshifter uh, shapeshifter episode. Oh, that yeah. was, that was <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go running down the stairs and just tearing her face off and everything. It's like for, leaving leaving pieces of herself all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, for me, yeah, yeah. The Frenchie plot at the beginning of the season with him telling but not not telling Colton or what were the guy's name? It was just like or calling. That that just went on way too long. Like this, mm. this was just like, okay, wrap this up, because mm. yeah, like at the payoff we we get at the end with him and Kimiko kissing and all that, and that's great. Mm. But they went way too long and focus on it, and then they're just like, oh, we'll throw him in. J he goes himself in jail. Oh, next episode, Butcher gets him out. Right. It's like Th oh. that's that's one of the things what disappointed me the most because French is one of my favorite characters because. Yeah. Look, I don't. They people were re revolting. Oh, French is gay. Since the first season, we know that French is bi. That that's nothing new, man. That's nothing new. Uh, what happens is they've been building for three seasons. They've been been building, sorry, been building um, a relationship, uh, a thing between him and Kimiko. And then at the beginning of the season, like if he really loves Kimiko, he wouldn't be with the, with the, another person doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl especially because he's sad because he killed the family that doesn't make sense to at the end get together no like why can't you just use them as a comic relief like they did on that uh, farm episode they used them as a comic relief and it was really nice they could use them half of the season as a comic relief and then when the second half of the season when it's the virus episode then it starts to crank and uh, becomes very important to the story by searching a way to create a new virus and stuff like that i think the love story with frenchy with the guy and again if it was a girl i would have the exact same talk, same conversation i don't care if it was a guy uh, i think it was something like oh we have to pay him something or we're gonna pay him so he has to do something let's put a, a story or something like that so he's busy on the first half of the season because like i said episode with the farm there's no more love story and he's focusing on making the virus so i think it was a waste of opportunity with the story and that's for me what i like the less on this season of the boys and i think it's bad i just it doesn't make sense to me mm -hmm. okay so uh, final question for you guys so uh what characters do you think will have a significant impact in the the end of this of the series uh i you know it's interesting like uh you know i i've kind of felt bad for 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 jackie i mean you know it's like you know having to put up with all the shit you know and 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 all the stress that she's under and everything and then of course at the end of the season she she pumps herself with the you know the the compound v and and then of course you see her her wig fall off and then what does she turn into after that i don't know but uh Ashley, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that. what I mean, what is she going to be? I mean, it's like, could she be a factor in in you know uh, getting rid of Vought and and some of the others like Homelander? You know, I, that's that's a question that you know remains uh, you know until uh, season five comes out. But uh, I mean, uh, what what characters do you think will have a major impact moving into the final season? Besides, besides the main cast, like mm -hmm. the, the the boys themselves, yeah, I think I think um, I forget the uh, Stan, Stan Edgar Carlos Esposito. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is he's gonna be coming back. Like you don't yeah. bring him back yeah. in this season for that one or two uh, for that one episode and not not use him again. Uh -huh. He's gonna end with his daughter dead, and you know he loved her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is going to be coming back for a vengeance and he he don't like homelander so it's like he he's willing to have homelander get killed so he will do his best to take down homelander homelander in the seven he may even help 
rescue some of the boys. And like, remember when he got broken out and he saw Starlight, he had a good rapport with Starlight. And since Starlight flew away, she could go to him. They team up together, start yeah. bringing the boys. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm thinking Soldier Boy. They're bringing Soldier Boy back. And yeah. uh, like we spoke on the podcast that they're making a, a prequel. I think they want to give him some uh, important, some important role. Maybe some sacrifice move uh, that makes people feel sad for his sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And uh, once the pe- people want to know more about him, and they then go to see that prequel, uh, because uh, Jesse Knuckles is a very very good actor. He portrayed a spectacular. I think I don't see a way they could have put Soldier Boy this season. But I think if Soldier Boy was in this season with the B plot just for him, I think mm-hmm. it would have been better because he was is like besides Homelander, he's the best character for me in the in the Boys series. Mm-hmm. I think he's the uh, second best. And um, bringing him for the final season, I think they have something big in store for him. I don't know if it's uh, for him to take Homelander down like it was the original uh, idea. I don't know if it's to die at the hands of Butcher, just to show how strong Butcher is. Uh, I don't know, but they have something big, and then I'm expecting something big from Soldier Boy. Yeah, I think it's going to be like a multiple effort. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you're going to have you're going to have Butcher. You're going to have A Train is probably going to have something to do with it as well. Uh, Maybe even Jackie, like I said, uh, and who knows? Sage could turn on Homelander again. You know, after all the shit that, you know, he, he put her through. Uh, so uh, we shall see. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. So, uh, And then uh, Kimiko and her past. I mean, uh, that caught up with her in the season. You know, so, you know, uh, her her sister in the in that uh, one group. I mean, uh, and, we'll and see what happens with her. She's going to have speaking lines now next season. She's going to have Maybe. speaking lines. Yeah, no, she, 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 spe- well, she spoke at the end. She spoke at the yeah, end. She, yeah, she, she said, said no, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So she she spoke. So I'm assuming it's going to be uh, early season. Is like uh, it's not like she doesn't know how to speak. It was just the trauma. It was blocked. So she knows mm-hmm. how to speak. So it will come slowly, and uh, maybe her speaking will have an influence on taking um, Frenchie out of that trance that he has uh, from the the girl from Gen V. That I'm forgetting her name. Yeah, but at the end of the season, everybody was separated. So uh, yeah, it'll it'll take some time for them to get back together again, and uh, you know, so and uh, work to take down Homelander and everybody else. So excited for season five, but unfortunately for all of us, it's probably going to be a long wait. So Thanks. probably another for a year and a half or two years before we get the final season. But nevertheless, really excited for that and. You know, uh, the spinoff series, you know, we have in between. So Mm -hmm. looking forward to it. They keep coming with this quality. If it takes them this long to get it to us, I'm okay. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So that's going to do it for our uh, our, our review of season four here on the Arena Productions. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to season five when it comes out. And we'll be doing recap and review episodes for that as well. And, of course, you can check out our playlist here for our recap and reviews of season four of the boys. So anyway, I've been your host X Pat, along with my co-host Burley, Burleyman gaming and Fubu 87. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for all of your support and watching this uh, review of season four. And we hope to catch you in the next one. So take care everyone and enjoy the boys. Peace. <laughs>